Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. First of all, let's get this out of the way. I know, I'm not in the golf hour, but that's what this video is all about. And I've been waiting to create this video for so long. Now, if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while and you watch my videos regular, you'll know that I've been talking about getting a second car for the YouTube channel. And yes, if you are regular, you'll know that me and my partner have got, well, did have an Abarth 500. It's been on the YouTube channel a while and I've made some videos on it, but it just didn't cut it. Although it was a good car, it just wasn't us as people. We're not really into Italian cars and all the rest of it. So although it was a good car, it just wasn't us. It didn't fit and it was only a matter of time before it went. I've even talked to you guys in the comment section and I've been asking you what sort of car you want to see on this channel. Now a lot of you guys did tell me to go and get a classic VW but the truth is this car is going to be a daily car and I don't really want to use a Mark 1 or Mark 2 Golf for an everyday car. I then told you guys that I wanted something vague and all-wheel drive and a lot of you guys like you would recommend the Mark IV R32 and the Mark V. I didn't really want to go NA and yes you can turbo them, you can supercharge them. Although I would personally like to own a Mark IV R32 in Tornado Red, the person who I'm spending my life with obviously didn't want one. So we had to find something that suited both of us and something that would fit the channel. But I did know what car I wanted when I asked you guys. I just wanted to see if any of you recommended one. And funny enough, a lot of you guys did. So before I show you guys around the car, I just want to say that this isn't a review video. That will come another time. And this car isn't replacing the Golf R. The Golf R means a lot to me. It's not going anywhere. I'll enjoy that car for many years to come, I hope. So with all that out of the way, this is the new project car for the channel. So here it is, this is the Audi S1. This is Audi's smallest performance car, but don't be put off by smallest performance car because this thing shares the two liter TFSI engine that's in a lot of things. This is also a Quattro, so it means it's all wheel drive, but we all know it's on a Haldex system. Now this is the lower spec one. It's got the small 17 inch wheels. It's got the silver and chrome grill so yes it hasn't got much extras but you guys know me it's not going to stay like this for long although this car is really small i really do love these cars my favorite thing are these front headlights it's just the way they wrap around the front there now, although it doesn't have audi's black pack this grill is actually pretty nice as far as a standard car goes it is really smart and it does look expensive in person i will say it's a nice classy performance car so i'm going to show you guys a few things that this car has now first off you can see it's got the audi s1 logo brakes there yes they are smaller than the golf r brakes but 
they can be changed. It's got the aluminium wing mirror covers. I know you guys will like this and in other countries this is nothing but you can get these in a two door over here and that's what this is so bonus points for that one i think these are just too small to have four doors we've got audi's typical small roof spoiler it could be a bit more aggressive but it works four tips so same as the s3 and golf r and another thing all s1s are facelift so you get the facelift rear lights which are really nice and when they light up they're led and oled so i really do like these rear lights we've got the chrome audi badges which i would prefer these in gloss black by xenon headlights which i really do like these headlights we've got honeycomb down the bottom here i did think that these were brake ducts but it looks like if those are fake the front bumper is aggressive and the lower bumper has a sort of some kind of splitter where it looks like other things we've got the side skirts which are nice and subtle again this is audi after all so let's take a look inside and with audi being audi this is a nice cabin it's audi's smallest car and yet they've still packed it full of high quality materials now First of all, you can see that, yes, it does have the round steering wheel. You can get a flat bottom, but like I said, this is one of the basic spec S1s because you guys know I'm just going to change most things anyway. So we've got the round steering wheel. We've got the gloss black around the air vents there, which I really do like. And I also love the shape of this dashboard. It's a nice place to be. It really is. Another thing is, I really like the grey backgrounds on the dials there and the S1 logo. We've also got some auto headlights, which I really do like auto headlights. It's just nice to have. These events, I think they're really cool. They like turn around. Really like those. These handles, really good quality, nice and thick can't fault it and for the seats these are half leather and cloth with the red stitching and the audi s1 badge in there same goes for the rear seats half leather red stitching and cloth no ski hatch with this because it is a small car a must have in cars these days is black headlining it does have the regular gear knob you can get a different one to match all these aluminium knobs here now because of the two liter engine and the all-wheel drive system these things only come in a manual i really do like the quattro badge in here it's got a nice size glove box door bins ain't the biggest but again this isn't a review and the entertainment system here some people like it some people don't but i think it's just a nice clean place to be really do rate audi interior you really can't go wrong with audi interior and these here are much better quality than the golf r just listen to these so satisfying now if i start this up yes it doesn't sound crazy because it is vag <laughs> vag cars are normally pretty boring but we've got some low fuel there and this is in dynamic mode. You can switch with the button down here. You can see the efficiency, auto, and dynamic. And it does have some metal pedals, which have a nice weight to it. Yeah, it does need a remass. <laughs> so here it is. This is what's powering this little S1. It's a two liter TFSI engine. It does have a smaller turbo than the Golf R. I think this is the IS20. So you can either change that to a Golf R turbo, which is an IS38, or chuck a hybrid on. So this car is completely stock. This thing does have 230 horsepower and 370 newton meters of torque. And it's also all wheel drive, like you know. So that's pretty much it. That is the new project car for the channel. The Golf R isn't going anywhere. If you do look forward to seeing these videos on the Audi S1, be sure to click subscribe. Now with this Audi S1, don't expect anything less from this. You guys know I'm not just gonna wrap it 
put an exhaust on it and sell it this thing will be over 400 horsepower either with a golf r turbo or with a hybrid is38 but let me know what you think in the comment section down below i am not going to hold back on this car it is going to be seriously fast seriously fun and i can't wait to make the videos on this thing and yeah do you own one of these cars what do you think of the s1 what do you think i should do to the s1 and thank you all for watching and i will see you guys on the next one